poem that's about the village where where I live. Uh, it, it's about it's, it's about a little journey from the village, actually. It's uh, I, I often write my poetry when I'm travelling, um, when I, when I'm in the car. Um, I'm not actually writing while I'm, while I'm steering, but, um, but a, a lot of my, my writing is, is, is in my head. I, I, as I'm walking, or as I'm cycling, or as I'm, I'm on a journey, it seems to be the only time that I find the time to, to write something. So I, so I, so I, I verse something, and I re-edit it in my head, I, I, I speak it aloud to myself, and then by the end of the journey, I guess, I have a poem. And sometimes I get the chance to write that down, and sometimes it just, just disappears, and we, we never see it. Um, so this, this, this poem is, um, is about the village where I live and it's, it's a journey out of the village. I'm sorry, some of the work I have here on, uh, on hard copy so that's something that I had to find to bring with me. I live by the sea. The tide is wild this morning. The breakers smash the rocks of San Stefan. Their ferocious white fists flail at the heights of the cliff. On this side, the waves race, moulding the menacing meniscus, tumbling, wrestling with each other, sending a flood of evolutionary soup gushing under the arch. Wake up! Wake up, young woman! Can't you hear the sea calling you? Banging on villagers' doors, beckoning you to test your foothold on the ferry's launch it threatens. The sea is blue, because in ferryside today, the sun is escaping, escaping the weakening grasp of winter. Heaven's waves are black and heavy, Heavier than the pounding surge beneath, bulging above, but the sun's strokes slip below, painting a cerulean sea. I turn to leave, climb into a milky white sky, an emulsion coating the illumination, soaked leaves catch the light, dashing the hedgerows with a million silver medallions. The silver fades to grey, a dismal atmosphere. But the season's growth in the earth is revealed, bracken-cropped brown borders, juicy greens, and the hopeful buttery trumper calls. My robe dips again, and Karamathan bathes, colours blurred and washed to youthful lichens, a film of springtime sunlight shimmers, trying to raise the strength to chase the wispy white swiftly for a bluest canvas. Yeah. <laughs>